channel. I am here to share with you guys my guest design team project for Elegant Embellishments and that is D Store. I had previously shown you guys kind of like an unboxing or a reveal of the kit for January and I really hope that you guys were able to go over to the Zibit store and pick that up with the discount code that I shared with you guys. But she does have these items still in stock, so I encourage you guys to head on over and check out her store. And I have a new coupon code for you where you can save 5% on your entire purchase. And I will have that on the screen right here. It is just Mimi5, so it's M-I-M-I-5. -I -I and I will have that in the description box down below, as well as all the other designers and their links, and Dee's channel, as well as, of course, her Zibit store. So let's get started. I actually made three of the exact same thing, and um, these will be some gifts to some of my crafty friends. So let me just share with you. So these are the little their little altered canvas bags. Um, this measures, each canvas bag measures about six inches wide and almost five inches in height. And it does have a little gusset down at the bottom so I can fit lots of goodies in here. Um, I know the kit came with a burlap bag and I will actually show you how I use that. But um, the burlap bag was a little bit smaller than this and I actually needed three of them. So let me just put these aside and I will go into detail of what I did. So whenever I create any type of altered bag, what I like to do is actually take it apart at the seams because I like to sew everything in. So what I did was I removed all the seams on the sides and in the gusset and I started building on top of that. So down here at the very base, see a little bit of this peeking out, but it does cover the entire front of the bag. And this is the nine inch by 12 inch cotton embroidered lace panel. And I actually just cut that apart so I can use that on each one of the bags. And then this cotton venice trim that came in the kit, what I did was I cut it to size and then each one of them I did use my Lindy spray and I colored it red and it takes the color beautifully. And it's hard to see on camera, but I love these Starburst sprays from Lindy's. It has this slight, slight sparkle to it, and it is so pretty. So I put that towards, more towards the bottom. Um, there's only about maybe half an inch that it doesn't go up to. And then on top of that, at the very top of the bag, I used this a la carte, sort of like a dangle trim that she has in the shop. And I have that going all the way across as well. And that's when I went ahead and put the whole bag back together. So it encases all of that. And then I actually went ahead and made this rosette flower and it is the Vicky flower. I'm sure you guys have seen that before. And um, I just really wanted to make these very Valentine-like, but they can also use it for other things. So I didn't put any sentiments or anything like that. So I made that rosette flower, and then I laid this white finesse applique with dangles and four chiffon flowers with pearl trims. So I only used three out of the four and just cut it apart. And I did leave a little bit on the side and just put that as my flower center. This is the flat lace that 
she has in the store and this is an a la carte item and I'd mentioned in my previous video that I like to make bows so that is exactly what I did I made a double bow and put that right underneath the rosette and then I just stuck a heart button and that's really the only thing that's going to be different between the bags so there's that heart button and then here's this one and then for the last one I have this one so I just pulled these from my stash and I didn't have three of the same ones and then you will see this little puffy heart and I actually just machine stitched, left an opening, put some polyfill in it, and I just think it's such a cute little um, embellishment on front of the bag. And then I also cut apart the doily that's in the kit and just use a portion of it to go behind the rosette flower here and the heart and I think that gives it some really nice texture and then I did decorate the back as well and this is the burlap bag so I cut that apart I used one of my dies cut the heart shape then I sprinkled on some of these felt tiny hearts and then here in the middle, the focal piece, this is the white finesse applique with four organza flowers and stamens. And what I did was I took it apart so it comes in three pieces. I sprayed the very bottom layer as well as the stamens with another Lindy's spray. And it just gives it this gorgeous pink color. And then I put it back together again and then I have this really pretty it's kind of like a what is it like a raspberry gem is that what the, these are called um, and I got these from Hobby Lobby and I've had that in my stash for a while and um, finally pulled them out and on the very top I used that a la carte item that she has in the shop this is the, it's like a off-white kind of um, cream, like Chinese braid. Kind of looks like really wide rickrack. And I have that going all the way across the bag, or the top of the bag. And then anything else I didn't sew on, everything is adhered with Fabri-Tac, which is an excellent glue for any type of fabric. And of course I had to dress up the handles, so I used the really really white um, sort of like a Chinese braid trim that she has that's also an a la carte item and I actually sewed it on to each one of the handles so that it won't go anywhere so that is what I created with the January 2018 alteration kit as well as some of the items from um, the a la carte portion of her store so let me know what you guys think. I really hope the recipients love these. I really love the way that they came out and I had a great time using all the items from Dee's store. So make sure to check the description box for all the information and head on over to Elegant Embellishments and pick yourself up some of these gorgeous items. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.